Something really weird is occurring after the recent incident at Manchester Airport. A bunch of Muslims have taken to the streets of Manchester in a protest march and instead of having any chants of their own, they've decided to chant Black Lives Matter. Now this is odd because the people in the clip, as well as most Muslims in the UK, aren't black, they're from the subcontinent. So why are they chanting this? Well in my guess it's because it's an off-the-shelf protest movement with a victim-oppressor narrative that the mainstream media is extremely sympathetic towards. And I think BLM was so popular in the mainstream media because it's led by detached, naive white people who think that they understand things like white supremacy, not like the rest of us stupid bigots who can't see sense. I think they buy into this ideology because it makes them feel more intelligent and moral than the rest of us, even though they're not really doing anything but parroting the tenets of neo-Marxism, sometimes known as cultural Marxism, a phrase that drives them absolutely mad because it's far right, even though that's exactly what it is. Yet for anyone actually paying attention, BLM actually had quite a radical edge to it. It was very influenced by people like Angela Davis, a Marxist affiliate of the Black Panther Party in America. She had the views in the 70s that are very popular now, white society is evil, white people are evil, and so on and so on. Only recently, she had a bit of a shock herself when she found out one of her ancestors was a white man who came to America on the Mayflower. Any idea what you're looking at? That is a list of the passengers on the Mayflower. No, I can't believe this. No. My ancestors did not come here on the Mayflower. You, your ancestors came no. on the Mayflower. No, no, no. You no. are descended no, no, no. from one of the 101 people who sailed on the Mayflower. Oof. Yeah. Oof, indeed. Turns out you're an awful white bigot too, Angela. But hey, what are you going to do, eh? Guess that's just the way it goes. Yet you may have noticed a few years ago during the BLM protests in Britain, the black radicalism had quite an influence on black people in Britain. Just take a look at the picture on your screen here. In the centre is Sasha Johnson. She was trying to reinvent herself as some sort of black panther for the modern age in London. On the left, you have a guy dressed up as a 5%er. That's from the Nation of Islam, a black radical Muslim movement. And on the right, you've got someone trying to reawaken some play on the Million Man March, led by Louis Farrakhan in 1995. And what this tells us is that none of this movement is very real. None of it's original. It's not authentic. It's all a play on stuff that they've seen in America and they want to reawaken in some live action role play. White liberals love to involve themselves in this little game too and don't seem to mind when Sasha Johnson said things like the white man will not be our equal but our slave. And do any of you remember what happened to Sasha Johnson? She was shot in the head and Diane Abbott was straight on the scene to tell us this is what life is like for black women and this is what happens when you stand up for racial justice. Yet Diane went quite quiet when it turned out Sasha Johnson had half a head blown off when she got caught in the crossfire between a black gang fight over turf. But I'm sure Diane is innocent of inflaming any tensions there and she'll find a way to blame white people anyway. Perhaps we didn't give enough cookies to the local community centre in Peckham or something. But you'd think after all this savagery, there'd be an end to this madness. But no, there's a fella I saw recently yelling on the streets of London that him and his people created us and created the very streets that he's yelling on. It's not about what you do, it's your ancestors. It's not about you to you. The reason why you're driving today is because of what my people did. The reason why you're here today is because of what your people did to my people. You do do anything with this country. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. I can't be the only person out there who feels that maybe black folks had it hard at some time in history, but those in the West have been paid back ten times that by now. I mean, look at the state of Africa. You'd be better off here than there. And second to that, most of London was built in Victorian times, and there's an argument the Irish had a big hand in that, but there was only about 10,000 black people in the country then anyway. But then I guess I'm just too dumb and bigoted to understand these big ideas and forget that black people are just innately better than white people, as Eni Aluko recently pointed out. 3% of the UK population are black, mm -hmm. and 8.1% of TV characters on screen are black. Is the assumption then that black people are just 2.5 times better? Maybe. Some black people are there, not necessarily because of talent, and the proof of that is the percentages, some, unless black people are just better. But some some white people have been given opportunities without... 20, 30 years ago, yes. I mean, let's talk about 
Well, no, you, you can't say that. But I can because of the stats. No, maybe they're just be the best. So where do they get this obnoxious behaviour from? Well, take a wild guess. It's America. A lot of people say that people like Leonardo da Vinci and Sir Isaac Newton, they created a lot of inventions in Europe, but a lot of their inventions can be attributed to the African presence that was in Europe because there was a strong African presence and they were bringing in science and mathematics, so that's where all that came from. Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo, you know, all of them studied with African people. They didn't come up with this. And I, when, when, when people talk about Leonardo da Vinci, the only question that I have as it relates to Leonardo da Vinci, is who was his teacher? Who taught Leonardo da Vinci uh, brain anatomy? Who taught him about the airplane? Who taught him this? Tell me who was his teacher? They can't tell you who the teacher is because if they told you who the teacher is, they would have to tell you they were black. God is there, wise American black man. God is there. Although, did that guy say that who taught da Vinci about the airplane? Da Vinci died in 1519. The airplane wasn't invented till 1903. All this goes back to the We Was Kangs meme you see online, as lots of black nationalists like to proclaim that they were the original Egyptians, the original Japanese, the original Jews, the original British, the list goes on and on. And as wacky that is, the underlying ideology of white bad, black good has penetrated Hollywood too. Here's the actress from the upcoming Star Wars telling woke host Trevor Noah her goal is to make white people cry. When people watch The Hate You Give, what, what do you want them to walk away with? Because I know everyone has a slightly different feeling. Um, well, I mean, white people crying actually was the goal. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> oh, yeah, those evil white people. They're all scum without any feelings anyway. Then we have Jewish comedians going out for a meal and talking about how awesome it is not to be around white people. <laughs> it's always a good sign when... When there's no white people. There's no white people. Yeah, always. Hundred percent. You just feel better. Yeah, it's a major step yeah. in the right direction. <laughs> oh wait, Thank you. we're just going to town. Yes. <laughs> Something has gone very wrong in America. You wouldn't be able to say that about any other racial group. Yet say it about white people, and if it bothers anybody, you've got white rage. You've got white fragility. You evil supremacists. And in reality, I think we all know what's really going on here. Sub-Saharan Africa has never really produced the great civilizations in a achievements of Asia, the Middle East, North Africa, and the European peoples. And of course, I don't say any of that because I hate them. I feel sorry for them in a way. Yet the reality is you're better off facing the harsh truths of life rather than embracing some post-Marxist ideology because this is where it leads to. And for the censors, no, I don't hate black people. I don't wish any ill on them. I know there are plenty of them who are very intelligent. These are just the harsh realities of life. These are just my thoughts, however. Do let me know what you think down below. And do consider subscribing to the channel.